Another mega pump arm day. If you've liked my previous ones, you're gonna love this. All right guys, here we are, it's Tuesday. We are at West Main. Oh, what the hell, Tuesday? I'm training arms? <laughs> It's the only thing, honestly, that's not sore on me. <laughs> so Chance said, what are we filming today? I'm like, arms, because everything else is sore. Training has been clicking right now. I am smashing weights, smashing food, things going well. So honestly, I'm just gonna keep riding this wave. So I'm taking the Jay Cutler premise. And for that was, he would always say, when I woke up that morning, whatever wasn't sore, I'm training. So today that's arms and that's what we got after. So big shocker here, we're starting with triceps. This entire session is gonna be supersets and it supersets with the same body part. So the overarching premise of this entire session is don't freak out and say, I don't have this equipment, I can't do it. If that is the case, I'm gonna talk through every single thing and how we can modify it for you at home with normal gym equipment, because I use some specialty things here today, I'm not gonna lie. First in rotation for triceps was cross body cuff extensions. Now, Chad's gonna show you a zoomed in version of the way I've been setting up this carabiner. I saw Joe Bennett do this and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try this. I noticed also Hunter was doing this. So I was like, listen, if those two guys are doing it, I gotta try it. And honestly, it worked incredible. So you take the clip off of the cable stack, you put it directly above that ball and that way those balls don't bang together. What I wanna think about here is I have a staggered stance here today, chest tall, and I'm just thinking about making an X with my body, taking my wrists outside of my quads. And I'm getting a full contraction with every single rep. I was trying to get 10 to 15 reps there. And then immediately after I finish that, I'm gonna walk over, use the prime spreader bar. I'm doing push downs with a forward torso lean. So again, if you don't have this, guys, just use a rope or two ropes. It's not a big deal. Tilt your body forward, spread your hands out by your quads. That's all I'm after here. I want that forward lean so I get a huge stretch on my triceps and then fire back to contraction. So I ended up doing three working rounds there for both of their sizes. I was looking at 10 to 15 of my work sets. And honestly, I'm just trying to force as much blood into those tries as humanly possible. So do this little combo or the modifications that I just talked about. And I'm telling you, you're gonna love the way your triceps feel because mine were so pumped at that first exercise, I probably could have walked away. Next up, staying with those cuffs, all I did was drag over a bench, sit it fully upright. Now, if you have a normal bench that's got a tall back on it, this may not work. So nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to use a bench that you would normally say dumbbell shoulder press on. And all I'm gonna do is I wanna set those cable heights just above my shoulder when I'm seated. And then watch how I'm setting up in this, guys. I'm grabbing the opposite cable with the opposite arm. And then I step forward across the bench and then take my hands over my head and I'm just literally making an X. And then I'm just thinking about tricep extension. This is an excellent exercise. Another one that I've seen Joe and Hunter use. And I was like, you know what? I, I gotta try this, I gotta do it. So I started doing it a few weeks ago and it just feels great. I love it. I can't go super heavy with it yet. I only had 40 pounds for my top end load on each side of the cable stack for, I think we ended up getting like 12 to 13 on that last set, but it feels incredible. It, it allows me to really crush my triceps, takes my shoulders completely out of it and there's no cheating. So that exercise one in that second rotation, now we're gonna go over and do the spreader bar again, but this time overhead extension. So again, focusing on the stretch of the long head of the tricep. You know I love this exercise with a rope or with the spreader bar or just individual D handles. It doesn't matter. You can use, like I said, two ropes, one rope, two different D handles, it doesn't matter. All I want is to stretch that long head of the tricep and then fire out just short of lockout because I already hit the lockout on the first part of this superset. Now I'm focusing on the stretch of the second round of the exercise. And lastly here to finish up the final superset of the day was one and a half with an easy bar on the cable push down. Now if you notice with this one, I'm staying very upright. I'm gonna go all the way down, full contraction, come up about a third to half of the way, fire back down to contraction, that is one. And I'm just doing that over and over and over again. I think I ended up getting right at 15 total. So really that's 30 total contractions. And then I'm finishing up here with an incline kettlebell skull crusher. But Chris, I don't have matching kettlebells. What do I do? Just do dumbbells, bro. It's the same shit. Use an easy bar, I don't care. It doesn't matter. All I want is an incline skull crusher. Stretch the tricep. I did two rounds there. And on the last one there, I got pissed off because I didn't get all 10. So I paused for 10, a 10 count and then got a few more. So two total rounds of that final superset before getting into some biceps.
All right, on to biceps. Easy bar curls here for sets of 12 to 15. This is the final set out here. I ended up gr grunting out 15, and Jesus, my biceps out of that, after that just initial work set of three total that I ended up doing was pumped like crazy. So do the normal standing easy bar on the cable, and then immediately I just turned around, grabbed the easy bar free weight, and did drag curls. So with this, guys, what I want to think about is keep the bar close to my body, drive my elbows back, and contract my biceps like crazy. That's all I'm after here. So just back and forth, easy bar curls to easy bar drag curls. I did three working rounds, so six total sets there, I'm trying to get anywhere between the 10 and 15 rep range for both of those exercises. And after three rounds of that, I'm telling you, my arms were just, they were so pumped. Like my triceps were still burning, biceps were starting to burn. Now we're going on to the second rotation, which is honestly one of my favorites. <laughs> This one arm preacher curl. Now, if you don't have this, uh, this machine, you can do the one arm hammer strength. You can do any cable machine curl, honestly, that they make out there. Precore makes a good one, free motion makes a good one. If you don't have any of that, if you're training in a garage gym, simply just do a one arm dumbbell preacher curl. You've seen me, dear God, how many times have I done that on this channel? Like, we just need a one arm isolation curl that's focusing on contraction here. So, again, 12 to 15 reps on the preacher curl and then immediately go into some reverse curls. Now, you guys haven't seen me do a lot of reverse curls, but I love them for the lower portion of my bicep. Now, I know you're gonna say, Chris, like you can't work the lower portion of your bicep. Give me all the science you want, bro. When I do this exercise, the lower portion of my bicep burns like fire. So guess what? I'm gonna continue to do it. Also, I get a little bit of a nice forearm pump, veins poking out, looks cool. So why not do some reverse curls? So again, trying to get 10 to 15 in the reverse curl. We did three rounds there of that second rotation before moving into our final two exercises of the day. finish up easy bar spider curls. Now, all I'm doing is laying face down on an incline bench with an easy bar with a wider grip handle. And then I'm thinking about letting my arms dead hang, so perpendicular to the floor, and then curl up to a full contraction. So full stretch, full contraction. If you notice, I don't have a lot of load there. It's only a 10 per side, but I'm really trying to focus on a maximum contraction. I'm trying to hold it for at least a one second count at the top of every rep. And then from there, after I think I ended up getting 12 to 15, I would go over and do cross body hammer curls. Now, you normally see me do those north and south, but this time I just simply tilted my arm to the side and curled with the grain of my elbow. And this is something that John taught me years ago, and I love it. So I did 15 each arm for both of my sets, and my arms were toast. I literally could get no more out of them. I could barely contract my arms anymore. And honestly, all my recovery was gone. So guess what that means? Time to pack up and go the fuck home. That's the whole workout and review. That's a lot of volume for biceps and triceps, but at this point, my training capacity right now is where I'm at, can take it and recover from. So I'm gonna keep riding it out. I love training, I love being in the gym, and it's not putting me in a hole. So guess what? We're gonna keep riding this volume wave until my body gives me a sign to start pulling back. So if you like this video, guys, like, share, subscribe. Do this arm workout your next arm day, and I promise you will love it as much as I do. Until next time, Chris TV.